Hi guys, this is Yana and check with Yana. We are talking about Czech culture, Czech customs and Czech habits. Let's dive into it. So today I am thinking to share with you some kind of advice that I would love to give you uh, because it is the getting dark outside. Actually, here in the Czech Republic, is already dark at 5 p.m. So very, very early. And you might be thinking, okay, it's so dark. What I'm going to do now, because during the night time, strange people are, I don't know where they are getting in there or where were the whole where they were the whole time before but they start to show up like more often maybe it is because normal ordinary people they just go home and they're not in the streets but to be honest with you I'm pretty scared to be outside when it is dark especially in the winter time because those creeps are just everywhere and it is not very comfortable feeling uh, mainly like uh, homeless people and drunks and some drug addicts but I, I just personally do not like that and but maybe you're thinking but yeah no, I would love to do something what can I do during uh, this autumn time and myself i'm waiting the whole time for the first snow because i'm super excited about that and san martin he should bring some snow on the 11th of november so i'm super excited about that but sometimes he does not bring the snow so that is kind of annoying and we have to wait even longer. So what you can do during that time? Uh, we have so many uh, performances, for example. You can go to a concert. We have a classical music concert in a fancy, in a fancy buildings around Prague, for example. Obecni dům. Uh, this close to Náměstí Republiky and there you can find the classical uh, music concerts which are very unique I would say and you should definitely go and see that also you can go to see some kind of performances like a theater performances or go to the cinema uh, just to be additional here, if you go to, to see some a movie in a cinema and it is a foreign movie, it is going to be in the original way. So if you are a foreigner, it will meant you speak English, it will be in English. Uh, if it's a foreign, I don't know, like a German movie, it will be in German and there will be just... Uh, Check subtitles. Only movies that are made for kids, they are going to be in Czech. Otherwise, everything will be in English. So th uh, that might be something uh, interesting for you. Also, you can go to see some kind of musical or opera. Opera is often in Italian or some uh, theatres, uh, they have subtitles in English. So look into it. And also you can go to see some uh, classical music performances in the churches, uh, especially before Christmas time. So basically they are starting now. So now maybe you're thinking, yeah, no, that's not a bad idea. I actually would like to try it, but what I'm going to wear. So I bet you don't want to look like an idiot. 
<laughs> or kind of in a way that well Czech Republic is kind of old-fashioned so it might happen that you won't be admitted into a concert or a theater performance even though you have bought your ticket in advance and so just to have a ticket is not the guarantee that you will be allowed to see the actual play or concert. With the cinema it is okay, you can wear whatever you want to, but with other things like a concert, opera or a theater performance, there is a dress code. Uh, it is not, that's the thing, it is not written on on the tickets that you're supposed to be dressed up because we think it's obvious <laughs> so we don't uh, put the note there but then uh, then you have me to tell you that it is not okay to wear whatever you want to uh, definitely do not wear jeans no caps or hats anything like that no t-shirt, no shorts, those are things that you have to follow, you're supposed to look fancy and posh, it does not mean you need to spend a bunch of money to buy proper clothes, no, just wear something uh, elegant, something formal, uh, think about that like what you would wear for your best friend's wedding, what you would wear for the prom or graduation party. Something like that would be more than okay. Just try to look as elegant as possible. So no sneakers or something like that. So for the guys, the suit, the dark suit, would be perfect with a shirt with the buttons, either white or light blue, and a tie or bow tie. That's perfect. And uh, black shoes or some uh, formal shoes. Only if you go to see national opera that's even more fancy than the rest of it so there would be the tuxedo would be perfect but i think you can you can handle it even in a dark suit also for the ladies you should wear some kind of dress that's perfect and uh, some high heels that's or some something like that that's perfect if you are going to uh, the opera national opera then you should wear long long dress one uh and uh proper shoes once i went there for my first time i didn't know i'm supposed to be this fancy and to be honest with you i did not feel well because I was wearing a dress, but a cocktail dress towards my knees and all other ladies, they were wearing long gowns, uh, so I didn't feel well. So watch out for that. It doesn't mean that you have to have a gown or dress from some fancy designer that might be super expensive, it just means not to wear jeans basically <laughs> or sweatpants no sweatpants please so you're supposed to look fancy because it is a social event and Czech people like to dress up it is like a habit it is think that a thing that we do okay don't bring any food don't bring any drinks some I saw people like carrying a container 
paper cup with the coffee do not bring it anywhere if you enter inside you should not carry that in your hand it's pretty rude so don't do that okay also once i saw a girl wearing her jeans trying to enter the national museum and she was kicked out she said what i'm wearing this Hugo Boss jeans, I spent so, so much money on those. And the lady said, I don't care, you're wearing jeans. That's not a proper thing to wear if you want to see something in the National Theater. And actually she was kicked out. Okay, so if you're here just for several days, just think about your best stuff that you brought here wear that if it's not fancy enough i would advise you to go shopping we have so many stores i'm pretty sure you will find something decent something elegant uh that would fit you and you will have a nice souvenir from prague so this is just my kind of advice to you so you don't want to look like a bump and you want to be admitted for the performance. If you have any questions about this, let me know down in the comment section below and have a great day.